Good morning, everybody. How are you? Start it again. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Woo! Pleased to hear it. Good morning and welcome to BNI New Market, your education spot. Recap from last week, we talked about our 10 minute speaking spot. So, once in a blue moon, you get the chance to rattle on for a bit longer than a 45. And I like it recaps because um, being in the training development game, and one thing we know is that to learn something, you've got to come back to it several times. So, my cheeky license is that I do this every week now. Um, so, just to very quickly breeze through this, I won't kind of grill you all because there was a fair bit of detail last week. But my top tips for your 10 minute slot when they come is to make the most of it. Four weeks out, warm everybody up. What do you want to know? What does people want to know that you can add to your presentation? Two weeks out, confirm to everybody I am going to be talking about XYZ and I would recommend you invite someone who might be in these industries um, who might find the talk valuable. One week out, prepare, 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 rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. I can't stress how much, um, how important it is that you do prepare for your 10 minute. You can't get up and wing it. I've been a winger guy for a long time and I've come unstuck on several occasions and I've been public speaking since I was seven. So I encourage you to um, prepare, prepare, prepare. I don't always listen to my own advice and get caught out. So um, on the day, remember you've got to um, you've got to come this look. James, yes, you have a question. Could you please speak quietly? Um, slowly, no. I'm sorry. Slowly. I'm on the okay, camera. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and my hearing aids, I'm glad you just don't work it out. I'll look after you, James. <laughs> you want to sit further back in the room? Can someone put James in the corner? <laughs> um, any, any bio information you'd like your introduction um, to cover off, you can make sure you come and see me or the education coordinator at the time and they'll make sure. Um, and um, when you break it down, what should your talk be about? A third should be about you, your story, where you come from, maybe a little bit of your family, your history. Um, another third about your why, your purpose, what gets you out of bed in the morning and gives you the get up and go that you have. And the other third is about what you offer. What is your value proposition? How do you make people's lives different? And if when all else fails, when you're doing your 10 minute, if you're completely struggling, just tell great stories. Stories of how you've helped people. That always goes a long, long way. Um, I can put this up at the end of the day. You can get your cameras out and take a quick snap if you need it. Right, this week, your education spot is all about presenting. And it's actually about the craft and the art of presenting. And it's very important to be encouraged that it's okay to embrace a certain amount of nervousness. If you uh, are in front of people and you're feeling nervous is actually a great thing because it keeps you on your toes and keeps you sharp. The moment you get bored of telling your story, you actually have a problem because it will carry across and how other people receive your message. So it's important to feel a bit of nervousness. If you don't feel nervous, try something you've never done before. Um, it's also important to plan your spontaneity. Um, you might look at a TV show like Top Gear where uh, the boys run around being very cheeky and cracking all sorts of mean jokes being horrible to each other, but the show is very heavily tightly scripted. And the reason, f and the reason being is that so they can go off script and still keep to the plan. So that's what um, we always encourage you to do, is to plan your presentations well um, and have it tightened up so that when you do have a moment where you think of something funny or witty or clever to say, um, it still does it, it fits within the overall master plan that you have. Um, let, show us your passion, what gets you fired up let your passion show on the things that you are excited about. Passion truly does actually engage people. And people can tell when you're going through the motions and when you actually truly care about it. So be prepared to light your own fire and really express yourself. Storytelling is another great way to get people um, on board with your presentation. And it should always have a, it should always have a, a purpose to it and have an actual um, element to it. And some people like to tell stories because they like to talk, but it's important your story actually takes the person on a journey and teaches them something either about you or about life or about what you offer or can can, um, can say. Um, if you have a story, don't just tell a joke, make sure it actually is tied into um, a wider context. Um, when you tell a great story, don't just retell it, relive it. Go back to that moment in time and actually relive your moment. That will have a huge impact on uh, how, you, again, how you come across and the, sin and the sincerity and um, authenticity of your message. And the other thing you need to do is not to abuse PowerPoint. The worst thing, and I've talked this, about this before, is not to stand here and look and read off your screen. PowerPoint, these days now, if you're using a visual aid, whether it's PowerPoint or it's something static like a poster, should be more pictorial than it should be words. And if it's words, it should just be a very, very few. Um, that is not always easy. But if you're relying, I would argue, in my experience, if you're looking at the screen and having to rely on the screen to do the heavy lifting for you, you don't know your material and you haven't got the confidence to kind of share what you believe in. So that takes more work and more preparation. 
So it's really important that people have something they can hang it on and visual cues go a long, long way. Alex will tell you that when you're doing storytelling, if you want the most effective form of content online, it is video. It's no longer statics or pictures, it is video that kind of grabs people. So anything to do can, um, anything to do visually goes a long way. So pictures, 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 less words. And the last thing is, is preparation. And I've seen, keep coming across this in the last few weeks in a lot of areas of my life, is preparation is so important. Don't underestimate what it takes to prepare and make sure you're ready for a presentation, whether you're going to a sales pitch, or you're going to meet someone for the first time, or you're going to actually deliver your services. Whatever you do, make sure you prepare. It will, it will make you come off so much more professionally and give people so much more confidence in you um, because you actually know what you're talking about. And you know what you're talking about because you prepared. And that is your education slot for this week. Well done. <laughs>